I do not look like a chipmunk who's pouching. I look like I went a couple of rounds with a boxer. Nope. I like the uh, chipmunk who's pouching. I do. What'd you do, dude? Surgery. Remember, I was going to have that oral surgery. Oh, that's right. You had your oral surgery. <laughs> yes, I right. I called Oral Roberts, but he wouldn't show up. Well, he wouldn't have to. He could just pray it away or something, couldn't he? Well, and you think he would, given the name. Does it happen? No. But but um bum. <laughs> so you should have seen it this morning when I woke up. It I'll was bet huge. I should have. <laughs> you look lovely. Yeah, it was uh oh boy, did they have to dig in and it um see it's here, not so much it's not the pain, it's the sound <laughs> as they're grinding away. <laughs> You know, that actually, it didn't bother me. Of course, I did say, give me some nitrous oxide. So I, that's not a, yeah. You got any gas to go with this? Yeah, let's. Uh, Before we start poking needles in. And the doc says to me, how are you feeling? I said, hi, and thank you. Perfect, sir. <laughs> I feel darn good. I feel better than I possibly could, ma'am. Yeah, sure? it was, uh, it worked out pretty nicely. Today's the second day. I had it done yesterday. Hmm. And I have to do a show tomorrow night. So this ought to be pretty entertaining. That should be, that's the word I was thinking of. <laughs> well, the good news is my standard painkillers are dealing with it just fine. I don't, you know, he said, I can give you some oxycodone. I said, no, you can't. I won't take I it. Said, you could, but it wouldn't do you any good. <laughs> exactly. Because I, I hate that crap. It makes see, me itch. I can, I can live with oxy if I have yeah. to. Yeah. Um. What knocks me right out of the ballpark is morphine. You oh, might as sure. well just lay me in the bathroom. <laughs> Dizzy naked, spells. Naked in the tub. Just so you can do all of that. Yeah, wherever I am. Just and every now and again, and they come and spritz you off. We'll start again. Let's Hang on. I thought of our theme song. It is? Puff the Magic Dragon. Why? You seen your face? Of course, I've seen my face. You look like a pouching chipmunk. I am a pouching chipmunk. Ooh! By the way, did you know that when after squirrels bury all that stuff, they're in, dead in the spring. They can't. Yeah. Uh, they they don't find eighty percent of. Them. Yeah, they leave they leave little mound things, and yeah. half the time they never. I just have no idea. No idea. They're squirrels. <laughs> We're not talking rocket science vermin here. Now and they are vermin, by the way. I like squirrels. Squirrels are nice as long as they're not in my yard. There we go. Like bunnies. You would have to have been unconscious for the past couple of weeks or a week or so. Yeah, a couple of weeks, I'll be safe. To to not know that the pagers exploded in Lebanon. They did. And then it walkie talkies exploded. And now a lot of Hezbollah is worried about fingerprint scanners. Exploding? <laughs> uh-huh. Really? Mm -hmm. Apparently somebody made a deal with the manufacturer to send the stuff to a location first. And then to... The customers. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. There is no spy agency in the world that would do that. Well, I actually, I, no, I can think of one and it's ours. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't I don't think we had anything to do with it. I just saw yeah. a video of some guys with fingerprint scanners were just kind of <laughs> Let me put on a football helmet and then see what I can do. Come on, you big sissy. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I want a mattress in front of me. Going back a ways, do you remember the time when the the people in China were complaining about the pandas? Because they thought yeah. it was just people in suits? Oh, I thought you meant the team that was... Never mind, go ahead. Yeah. Well, a Chinese... That'd be a great name for a team, wouldn't it? Well, the pandas. <laughs> and everybody thinks they're just pushovers, and then the pandas eat you. Right? A Chinese zoo has admitted that the pandas in their exhibits are, in fact, painted dogs. Now, that leads to several questions. <laughs> one of which is simply one word. Why... Because they're a Chinese zoo and they're supposed to have pandas and they didn't have pandas. So they had so to they, get some pandas. And they painted dogs? They painted dogs. Uh, what's the... How'd really, that work out? Well, they looked like panda dogs. 
Which is what they so said be, they advertised. They'd either Panda be pan dogs or yeah. my favorite dog does. <laughs> Look, mommy, can I see the dog da? <laughs> oh. Better yet, mom, can we can we paint Fido? This is <laughs> the Sean Wei Zhu realized they were being bamboozled when the so called pandas. Oh, get it? Paint. Bamboozled? Bamboo? They eat bamboo? See, That's funny. Then he then shoots I, and leaves. When they began panting and barking. <laughs> Something pandas hardly ever do in the wild. Mm -hmm. So it did not. It did not go over, apparently. And for my WNBA news. Yes. Caitlin Clark sells for WNBA record. $84,000 oh, yeah. on Fanatics Collect. They have, they have, uh, they don't know what, the, if they don't understand, they have a gold mine in that little six foot tall lady from Iowa. Yep. They're idiots. Right. Right. She and will bring people to the league. And they're still going to lose $50 million this year. By the way, did you see that poke in the eye? Yeah. That looked as deliberate as it could possibly be. Only in slow motion. Really? Yeah. You see it in regular time. It's a hand coming. If she did it on purpose and my wife agrees with you. Yeah. Um, but when I watch it in regular time, it's like, nope, she, it was a basketball thing and the hand hit the eye. If it hits well, the forehead, nobody cares. Well, the thing was it did this when you're, when you're, when you're slapping at the ball, your hand is open. And what her fingers yes. did after that was this and hit her in the eyes. So she closed her fingers in a beak strike. A nasty pointy beak strike. For the first Monty Python reference of the week. Wow, and that's... We're barely a minute in. <laughs> All right, fine. I saw two weird animal stories. They both involve bulls. Okay, and? Um, a lone bull was on the lamb from a rodeo in Massachusetts. Did you have to say it that way? Hmm. <laughs> they wrote it that way. Somebody at the AP is trying for style points. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, eight of them escaped from a rodeo in Massachusetts mall parking lot. I heard about that. Why you're having a rodeo in a, I don't know. In anyway, they've been caught, but not before. <laughs> One of them is caught, but not before a pursuit that ended on a highway. That would be entertaining. Oh, boy. The bull was lassoed and led into a trailer on US-1 in North Attleboro, not far from where the group of eight broke through their pens and charged through the crowd parking lot. It was a little bit like Pamplona, except <laughs> in Massachusetts and in a yeah. parking lot. And in Massachusetts, they're running from the bulls, not with them. And also from North Attleboro, first responders use some impromptu roundup skills when they capture the other seven. I would, I would pay money for the thoughts going through those heads the first time they get that call. Here, what? bull. Ernie, what do you say? He said bulls. That couldn't be it. Yes. <laughs> Roger, uh, could you repeat? <laughs> Did you say? Oh, by the way, the festival rodeo at the Emerald Square Mall was shut down. You think? Well, when you got that kind of bull going on, how the how the bulls escaped is under investigation. You think they picked the lock? Yep, I do. I think it was an inside job. Mm -hmm. I think one of the bulls knew somebody. Off they went. And your other story was those were the oh those are two different anyway. There's a uh uh those were two different bull stories because they were captured two different places. Oh okay, I, I was but confused. sorry. What, what we also have another animal story: an eight year old girl. Okay. Took an SUV from her Ohio home, drove for miles to a store where she was later found unharmed. Eight-year-old. Yep. She How wanted... did she reach the freaking pedals? See, I uh, don't she's know. driving a Carmen Ghia? Maybe she's very tall. For an eight-year-old? I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Police launched an investigation. They learned the child had been spotted driving a vehicle on a nearby road. Couldn't find it. They eventually did in a parking lot of Target in Painbridge, about 13 miles from her home. <laughs> Please... Police found the kid inside the store. Well, duh. Why else do you the drive there? Why is she going to hang out in a vehicle? She told the ossifers that she had struck a mailbox while driving, but nothing else, sir. 
Authorities didn't say why she decided to travel to the store alone, and she had no other details, oh. or they provided no other details on the trip. Yep. The girl is too young to be charged criminally because, well, let's be honest, it's more entertaining than no one got hurt. But I'm sure in Massachusetts they may find a way to charge the parents for something. I'm, we can only hope. Yeah, why? If you I got that... charged for things my kids do, I'd be, oh. I'd have died in prison already. So moving over to the comments from old fat man, apropos of this is true. Really news mailbag episode one, four, eight says, remember guys, we are where we are. Not because we're really freaking smart. Well, that's true. No, rather we are just smart enough to not be in jail or a politician. Bingo. You win the internet today, sir. And really, shouldn't they put bars on the Capitol just <laughs> just to keep them in? Well, make them feel more at home, I think. Also, apropos, this is Truly News uh, Mailbag, episode 148. Yes. From D. Combsify, my son Drew, no relation. Drewfus. We were talking about gin. Remember yes. The, Wait, the, the game the or gin? the booze? Well, no, the, the game, the booze. Doc, oh, when he left it for the bad guys. Yeah. The chain <laughs> gang, yeah. And I mentioned Working that on the chain game. I'm sorry. Drew had bought me a very nice bottle of gin that was wonderful. Except and for one thing. It's great as a mixer. Except for one thing. What? It is gin. Um, not all gin is the same. There are different, different herbivores they put into it. Maybe I said that wrong. Herbivores? <laughs> There's critters in my gin. Well, your gin, because I don't drink gin, but okay. Well, you got to get your protein somewhere. And Drew uh, wrote, if you're looking for the gin mentioned, it's no let's silver. No let's silver. So. Really? Yeah, that's good stuff. Hmm. It's actually very good stuff. Apropos, this is True Really News, episode 897. From in a Jessalyn. country filled with people who drink bourbon. Yeah. Well, this guy leaves them gin. Well, he drinks bourbon, too. <laughs> so, Jessalyn, with yes. a laughing emoji with tears coming out of uh, its eyes. Oh, what Another did we do Another great video, gentlemen. You're welcome, Jess. What? Us? Yeah. She called us gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. worthy of a what the hell? <laughs> So she had fun, which is good. I'm glad that you yeah. did. That's the point of all this. No, uh, it's not. The point of all this is to, for me to have something to do a couple days a week. There you go. Um, apropos of this is True Really News, episode 897 from Old Fat Man. Oh, my. Oh, boy. This episode was truly loaded. You know, you mean we it had don't too much drink, gin? We don't drink before these. Wouldn't that be interesting? Have us do have us get tuned. <laughs> and then do. Well, as I remember, we did have a couple of cocktails once when we got snowed in. Yeah. Oh boy, did we ever! We made it a whole half a mile to the uh, Holiday Inn bar. Yes, we did. Had a couple of drinks, went back, and tried to record something similar to this. It was. <laughs> it was a disaster. Not a pretty sight. <laughs> and finally, apropos, of this is True Really News, episode eight nine eight from Chris Combs, my brother, no relation. You mentioned 58, because we'd done something 58 times or something. Yeah, you have to go back to episode 486. Is it 46, 486? Yeah. Okay. Titter math. 58 plus 58 equals? 58. Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. The spirits are about to bite. Are they friendly biters? Friendly? Let's, Let's listen. By the way, if you're in the Twin Cities, five five 5.6 is Me Tunes. A lot of the old ones, Rocky Bullwinkle, those guys. Oh, 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 television station, 5.2. Yep. Me oh. Tunes. I don't have it because I have cable. <laughs> and I don't live <laughs> technically in the Twin Cities. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. Uh, you just have to find them elsewhere. Bite me. All right. 